positive, but I think I just figured out the easiest ribs ever that don't have bio wheat gluten, so they're gluten free, none of that kind of stuff in them. So far, what I have in here is some pecan flour, some uh, lupin flour, and uh, some flax and chia seeds. Okay, so that's all. That's all that's in there right at the moment. But I have a couple more ingredients here. I think this is going to be great. I tried it with walnuts, didn't like it, so I'm trying it with um, pecan flour instead. You know, they say in the vegan world that pecans and walnuts make meat. So we're going to see. We are going to see about that. Okay, so pretty much anybody that's made any kind of vegan ribs knows the, the real secret ingredient. is your jackfruit. A lot of people throw their jackfruit in here right out of the can, they just break it up and throw it in here. I like to boil mine and I like to add some whatever flavoring I want to it and this time I added some beefy flavoring to it, some vegan beef stock. Okay, and I have, in this cup I have my um, browning sauce, my liquid smoke, and just some water. I'm just gonna pour it in as is needed. I don't want to go crazy with it. Oop, let's put our spices in. We got our barbecue spice, our garlic, our onion, um, whatever kind of spices you like. Paprika. You know, it should it should take all this liquid, but I still don't like to just dump it all in there because you can't take it back out. You guys, this was so good. It's just oh, it holds together well. It's just it's really good. I think you guys are gonna like this a lot. And easy, see how easy this is? You do it all in this one bowl, it's so easy. You don't have to knead the crap out of it and beat it to death like you do when you use seitan. Not that I don't love my seitan, because I do. Don't get me wrong, I do love my seitan. But this is so much easier. Now see, I might not end up needing all this. I'm glad I didn't put it all in here. I will put the, um recipe in the box below because I just kind of made it up on the fly here. I'll put it down below for you guys. All right, I think that's good enough. So, so yeah, I didn't need it all. I didn't need it all. It's a good thing I didn't use it, dump it in there like that, right? You don't want it to be really, really wet. All right, I got my pan all prepared here. This pan has, I got tin foil in it, but I also got my parchment paper and I'm just going to dump this in here and that's another thing unlike the um you know how you have to wait with the with the satan like overnight it's like, better if you wait a day or two and better if you steam it and then bake it and then boil it and then boil it and then have all, of it, all that stuff and by the way you can make this however thick or thin you want to I'm making these a little bit thick because just because I want to I know I almost feel like I should get another pan but a little bit thicker than I thought they were going to be, but oh well. Who doesn't like some thick, meaty ribs, right? Okay, so I'm going to let this sit for about 15, 20 minutes while I let the oven heat up to get ready for round one. And yes, you, you literally can cook it that fast. And I'm going to get a little thing to cut me some little lines on here, and I'll be back in a second. All right, as you can see, the ribs are ready to go in the oven. I'm going to stick them in there, I think, for about 25 minutes or so. I'll keep it, keep an eye on them. I don't want them to get all burnt and hard and crispy around the edges. Then I'm going to smother them with some barbecue sauce and cook them for a little bit higher temperature. Right now they're on 350. I'll probably turn them up to about 400 and probably soak them with barbecue sauce, turn it up, and cook them for about five or seven minutes. I'll be back. Okay, they've done the first round of their pre-bake, and now we're going to sauce them up here. I'm going to turn the oven up to 400. Uh, I think 400 should do it. Because it's 350 right now. I'll do 375. Yeah, 400. And we're going to cook this on here really good. We want this to get that nice, deep, rich taste. And the only way you can get that is if you cook it a lot. You can use any kind of uh, uh, barbecue sauce, including make your own. It's very easy to make your own. There's tons of recipes. You can Google them. Oh my God, there's so many. Make sure you go for the low carb stuff, nothing with sugar in it. Um, that you can buy them nowadays with no sugar added. 
So yeah, whatever you'd like to do when it comes to that. You can also, you could put a rub on this if you wanted to. I started to, I just decided I'm gonna do it simple this time, just see how it turns out. Use every bit of your barbecue sauce. This is about a half a cup all together. Use all of it <laughs> because you don't want to be dry and stuff. You want them to taste like barbecued ribs. Okay, now you only need to put this back in, or I'd say 10 minutes at the most. I'll let you know in a minute. All right. Time canceled. <laughs> Alexa's still talking. Let me go get this beauty all set up for her photo shoot, and I will show you the final product. Oh, yeah. That bite disappeared quickly. These are 